Trees, Normandy, 1914, oil on canvas. Two trees stand like dancers with bending trunks, waving bare branches in a field carpeted with yellows, oranges, and reds, backed by a red roof farmhouse and a pale blue sky. Hoeing, 1914, oil on panel, painted with thick, rich brush strokes, a man in a yellow wide-brimmed hat kneels in a field working a green crop with a long-handled hoe. Blossom Tree, 1914, oil on canvas, a tree with thin twisted branches and pale pink blossoms grows on a hill dotted with pinks, whites, and reds. Durham, 1914, oil on canvas, painted with textured and energetic brush strokes, a ramshackle house stands with a steep and wavy thatched roof and two chimneys and sits by the side of a tan cobblestone road. Still Life, 1915, oil on canvas or panel, Dry, scratchy brush strokes light up an austere white pitcher contrasted with a pot-bellied, tall green coffee pot placed on a purple table surrounded by burgundy branches with white needles. Wood interior, 1915, oil on canvas. Tall trees stand solemn, green and brown bark with twig-like branches in a forest backed by a mottled blue and mauve sky. Berkshire Landscape, 1916, oil on panel. Small white cottages with brick orange roofs stand among bushy green trees, backed by a green field, rolling hills, and a sky streaked with gray, rendered with short, distinct brush strokes. Untitled, 1916, oil on canvas or panel. Painted with thin oils, a glass seltzer bottle and a blue drinking glass stand on a table beside a long butter knife and two oranges on a floral side plate. Old Land Mill, Ditchling, Sussex, 1917, watercolor. Rendered in muted greens and grays, a dreamlike white windmill stands on a windowless house high above rounded hills and a grazing animal. Sunflowers, 1917, oil on canvas. Backed by draped white fabric, three drooping sunflowers with yellow petals and large floppy green leaves rise out of a white cylindrical vase which sits on an angular side table. Tiny pears stand side by side on a purple ledge.